Hey guys, <coughs> Dale here from Dale's Rigging and Crank Tips. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, on today's episode, what we're going to do is I had this dude from England, old mate from England. Are you from London? Old mate from England, he was wondering, um, he goes, hey bro, when do you use the speeds on your levers? How do you change them? And when do you use them? And I was like, good question. So on today's episode, we're going to go over speeding up and slowing down your speed on your crane levers. Now what you can do in a slew crane is you can speed up and slow down what your lever does. So your winch, you can dial it up or dial it down so you can make it go slower. Your luff or jib, whatever you call it, you can dial it up and dial it down so you can make it go slower so it goes really slow or you can dial it up and so it goes as fast as it can go and you can do it with your slew as well and your tally I'm not sure why you'd want your tally fast or slower um, maybe slower if you're on an intermittent section and you've got a load on the hook maybe you'd want to dial it down but I always want to pull it in as fast as I can at the end of the day so who knows anyway so how you do it I'm going to have to do a video in each crane so I'm going to have to find a Tirano fawn I'm going to have to find a uh, I've got a grove so I can show you in a new grove and then I'm going to have to find a lever and I'll show you in the lever little hint with the lever with the bluetooth versions you hold the two rabbits on each um, you hold the two rabbits on each lever you hold it in and then it'll come up and then I think you can change the speeds on the lever whatever your lever does it will change the speeds but uh, on the other ones just go through the sub settings and you'll see a picture of a hand of like a lever now the other thing that you can do is you can change when your actual lever starts actuating meaning the hydraulics start kicking in so you can change it from when you first just touch your lever sideways it will start kicking in and then another thing you can do is you can have a delay so you'll start pulling your lever nothing will happen nothing will happen nothing will happen and then all of a sudden it will start working so you can change that as well so that's two things you can change with your lever speeds and when it actually starts working now the two times I change the speeds now look this is entirely up to you guys you can change your speeds whenever you want or how you want there's no rules on that whatever you prefer bruv whatever you prefer you do what your heart desires so I'm just gonna tell you when I use it alright first first reason that I change the speeds on my levers first reason is if I've got men up in a man cage and I'm full stick if I've got men up in a man cage I don't want to risk fate with that stuff I don't want to smash them out of the box so I dial down the laugh and I dial down the slew I don't really touch the winch because the winch you can kind of you can kind of adjust it yourself so if I'm full stick and I've got men in the men basket that's when I dial them down. I dial down the, the luff and I dial down the slew just so you know I don't accidentally start going really fast and smash them around. You don't want to do that with men in the hook. Alright? Second reason I dial my, um, I slow my levers down. Second reason is if I've got a fly and needle on and I'm doing tight work like on top of a building or in a tight space or if I've just got my fly and needle on because what happens when you got fly and needle on is you've already got full stick bruv and then you've got a fly and a needle on the end or you've got multiple sections fly jib sections and a needle it's just it's so much stick and what will happen is when you slew you'd be like do 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 when you stop do 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 and if you're doing that fast it's just going to be a mess so I just slow everything down I slow it all down so it's just nice and precise and uh, easy I mean no one expects you to go fast when you've got your fly needle on they all want you to be safe they want you to be nice and precise and not do anything so that's it 
The only other reason, but I don't really ever do it, is just if I've got full stick without anything, but I don't really slow it down. Anything other than a man basket with men in the basket on the end of your hook and fly a needle, you can kind of use your, just don't push as hard, you know what I mean? That's all I do. So those are the three reasons. Um, the other setting that you can have where you can change when your lever kicks in. I've never actually really used that. Um, I may have used it once just to use it, just for Pete's sake. But other than that, I, I never use it. I don't, there's not really a point. Uh, maybe in these other cranes like the Groves since they're a bit harder, but in a lever, the levers are so beautiful and so precise that it's just, I mean, they're just magic without any of that. Maybe in a Tirano you want to change that actuator, you know, change when it starts grabbing on. I know the slew in Tiranos can be a bit rough at times. So anyway, old mate from London, hope that helps. I'll get you a video on how to actually do it in the sub menu. Lieber's a little bit trickier, you've got to push both those rabbit buttons, alright? Both rabbit buttons, hold them in, and then a menu will come up, alright? Okay guys, hope this helps, like these videos, subscribe here, Dale's Rigging and Crank Tips, uh, yeah, yeah.